us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section B of the August 2022 Science Paper 1. Let us look at question e, B9. Figure B9.1 shows a circuit consisting of a 12 volt battery with a combination of resistors between points X, Y and Z. Question A calculate the effective resistance between Y and Z. So we have two points between this point and that point. So if you see this resistor and this resistor are in parallel. So if they are in parallel, the effective resistor is given by a R is equal to a R1 resistor 2. We multiply them then we sum resistor 1 plus C, resistor 2. What we do is in this case we are going to say a 6. Okay, so 6 times a 12 over basically a 6 plus C, 12 which will be basically 72 divided by 18 which is going to give us 4 uh, ohms. So 4 ohms is basically the effective resistor between Y and Z. Let us move to our question B. Find the current through the resistor 2 ohms. So 2 ohms resistor which is this one. So now what you notice in this case for us to find this we need to use the principle that um, uh, this is uh, in series we fear uh, the entire of these which are parallel because when this one goes off then the entire circuit will not work. Then uh, in series circuit uh, all components receive the same current so they have the same current. So what we need to do is basically we just need to find the current for the entire circuit. Then we know that a voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistor. Then uh, what we need to do, we need to find the resistor for this uh, circuit. So the effective here is basically 4 ohms. Then in series to find the resistor, we just add them. So the circuit resistor will be resistor 2, then plus this 4, which will give us basically 6. So 6 ohms is the entire resistor for the circuit. So to find uh, the current, we just find the current for the entire circuit. So current is equal to basically a voltage divided by resistor for the circuit. So the entire voltage is 12. So it will be 12 divided by 6. Then we are going to end up with 2 amps. So 2 amps is basically the answer here. So it's 2 amps. So the current passing here will be the current passing through the entire circuit. Because this one is in series with uh, this one. So basically... This is how you answer B. Remember, in a series circuit, all components are arranged in a chain. Then, because arranged in the chain, all components have the same current. Then, in parallel, all components have the same potential difference, but different current. Series have got different voltage, but same current. You need to take note of those key points. Then C, calculate the voltage across the 2 ohms resistor. So remember we just found um, the current passing through this uh, resistor in this question which is 2 uh, amps. So basically to find uh, the voltage we use the formula that voltage is equal to uh, current times resistor. So what we have current is 2 for the entire circuit then multiply by uh, resistor which is 2 then we have a 4 volts. So 4 volts is basically uh, the voltage uh, through uh, this resistor. Then uh, the voltage for the, the two, remember these two because they are in parallel, they are going to have the same potential difference. So what is going to happen in this case is basically voltage is equal to, again, uh, current is 2 amps, then multiply by a uh, the effective uh, resistor which is formed then we multiply this we are going to get 80 volts so if you add these two we are going to discover that this is 12 volts for the entire circuit so basically this is how you answer this question to get the 60 max so basically this marks the last question in section b 
where you are expected to get the optimal max from 45 because this is the most important uh, section so join me as i look at here uh, section c where you expected to answer two questions and uh, this section carries 20 max